Today we see potentially dangerous signals which could materialize as correction signals in many stocks, including most of the magnificent seven, especially Tesla and Apple. So in this video, let's see if the situation is really that dangerous, right? But first, welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan, professional trader, founder of the 5% project, which aims to help you improve your performance with our trading signals and strategies. This year, we have already delivered excellent results for our members, and we are going to keep working very hard for you. The QR code is right here, link in the fixed comment below. Now, as we can see here, although we see many weird, bearish top signals in many stocks, the SPY is clearly bullish. We don't see anything horrible over here. In fact, in fact, apparently SPY is just stabilizing its price around yesterday's high. Yesterday, we saw a very strong bullish candlestick pattern over here. And right now, we are just stabilizing, which is totally normal, which is totally expected because, well, yesterday we went up 0.8%, almost 1% in one single bullish bar, breaking the previous all-time high. So, okay, seeing such stabilization after this movement over here is totally normal. It is not, we don't see any top signal here yet. The QQQ is also stabilizing. We see a doji right here, right now, right? The market didn't close yet, but uh, probably, probably we are gonna see a candlestick, a small, shy, timid candlestick over here, not making anything meaningful. So on SPY and uh, on QQQ, we don't see any top signal yet. Now, when we analyze our dear stocks over here, Microsoft, bearish, candlestick pattern. This candlestick pattern over here is called, there is a name for this, dark cloud cover candlestick pattern, right? Apple is making a very ugly bearish candlestick pattern today, another dark cloud cover, and uh, just under, just under this resistance area over here. So this, this signal here on Apple is particularly dangerous because if this top signal, if Apple triggers this top signal in the next couple of days, it could easily correct again. Now, would that be a reversal? Not yet, because as far as I know, the trend is still very bullish. And uh, any pullback to the 21 MA, any pullback to the $200 area could be just another harmless pullback. But I do agree that this is going to be quite annoying because a pullback to the 21 MA would be a 6% pullback, all right? So we got to pay extra attention on this dark cloud cover over here. Amazon is also making a bearish reaction. It is not rejecting yesterday's bullish reaction yet, but uh, it is a bearish reaction. We are closing under the 21MA on the daily chart and uh, we failed to trigger yesterday's bar. So it is annoying. It is not a horrible, insanely bearish reaction, but uh, it could be if, if we continue dropping. If we lose yesterday's low, then I do believe that Amazon is going to correct to even lower levels. Google is still above the 21 MA. It is still looking very good. However, when we analyze the one hour chart over here, we see the possibility of a head and shoulders chart pattern, right? So we got to pay extra attention on the neckline of this head and shoulders around 174 because by losing this key point, I believe that Google is going to trigger a bearish reversal chart structure correcting to lower levels. Now, Meta is also correcting. We are still above the 21 MA. However, we are not there yet. All right, we could correct a little bit more. Now, when we analyze Tesla, Tesla is just like Apple. It is making a bearish reaction under a very important resistance line. In this case over here, $100, $186.87, this key point over here. Yesterday, we saw such a phenomenal bullish candlestick pattern. This candlestick pattern has a name. It is a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern and uh, right above 
the 21MA on the daily chart, a very good signal. However, today we failed it to trigger this bullish reaction and apparently we are making a bearish reaction under this resistance level, suggesting that Tesla is losing momentum and uh, it is still within this congestion zone between the 187 and the 167 down here, the support line. So in theory, as far as I know, if Tesla rejects this candlestick pattern over here from yesterday, we are going to completely reject any bullish possibility and uh, we are going to possibly retest the 167 area again. Now, Nathan, do you think there is still hope for Tesla? Yes, there is, but uh, we got to see a very good, meaningful reaction by the end of the week in order for Tesla to materialize a real meaningful bullish reversal, breaking this resistance line and uh, possibly reversing the trend on the weekly chart as well, leaving the 21MA on the weekly chart behind. That would be a very good movement. However, Tesla has to react as soon as possible. Either way, I do believe we're going to have our answer by the end of the week. Now, if you ask me right here, right now, Nathan, what do you think is the most likely scenario, right? Because we could see Tesla rejecting this bar and uh, retesting the, 160, the 167 or breaking the 187 over here and uh, reversing this congestion area and uh, turning bullish again. Well, if you ask me, it is going to be very difficult for Tesla to reject this bar from yesterday. Not impossible because, well, Tesla did similar movements in the past, but uh, it is going to be harder. All right. So the odds favor the bulls in this particular scenario right here, right now. Before that, Tesla was more bearish than bullish. But uh, if you ask me today, I do believe that Tesla has more chances of turning bullish than bearish. We got to pay attention to this bar from yesterday and to the 187 resistance area. We got to break the 187 as soon as possible. If we lose yesterday's low, if we reject this insanely bullish candlestick pattern, then okay, Tesla will probably resume the bearish sentiment over here and retest its next support levels. Now, I would like you to imagine a room a room full of people and uh, these guys, they are quite upset, right? They, they, they are quite mad. They are anxious and they are afraid. And then, and then enters a person extremely happy. This person is extremely happy, extremely, totally oblivious to the tension in the air. Well, this person is Nvidia, right? Nvidia today is the only stock among the Magnificent 7 that is actually going up. It is not only going up, it is going up more than 3% today. The other stocks over here are dropping more than 1%. Nvidia is going up almost 3.5% today, making an insanely bullish candlestick pattern today, rejecting, totally rejecting yesterday's bearish reaction, making a new record high. So there is not a single top signal over here. There is not a single bearish reversal chart structure. Nvidia is still insanely bullish. If we see Nvidia correcting, we have many support levels like the 125, like the 21 MA on the daily chart, like the 115 over here as well. And uh, even if we see a pullback to the 115, the trend would not reverse. The trend would still be bullish and uh, any pullback in this scenario, in this situation would be nothing but another buying opportunity. This is the best stock of this entire stock market for you guys. Nvidia is a true monster. Now, Palantir, I forgot. I forgot to analyze Palantir yesterday, all right? I'm so sorry. You guys were quite upset with me. I'm so sorry. I totally forgot my fault. Now, Palantir is breaking the previous resistance level today. It is making a breakout. I do hope that this breakout is going to sustain and it is going to maintain the price above the $25.47 because by doing so, our next technical target is going to be the $27.50. So far, there is no top signal. Nathan, what if Palantir makes a top signal tomorrow, a bearish reaction closing below the 25.47? Well, 
in this scenario, I do believe we're gonna see a top signal. Any top signal might bring a pullback on Palantir, and any pullback to the $24 to the 21 MA on the daily chart could be just another buying opportunity because the trend is still bullish and we don't see any meaningful bearish reversal chart structure. There is not a single technical evidence suggesting that Palantir is going to reverse its bullish momentum. So in this situation, pullbacks would be just buying opportunities, all right? Now, I'm gonna keep you guys updated every single day, so consider subscribing to this channel, click the like button to support me. Thank you very much for your audience, my dear friends, and I wish to you all a great holiday. Stay safe, bye-bye.